Mikhail, last, last week when I was looking at the team, apart from Saka, Odegaard and Trossard, they're all really big, strong, tall athletes on your team. And I'm thinking back to the Invincibles, and the Invincibles, you know, you had Sol Campbell, you had Vieira, even Bergkamp's tall, all, all these big strong. How, you talked a lot about mental strength this season, but how important has physical strength been to the success of this team? Yeah, well, obviously, in relation to the players that we pick, um, we have very different qualities um, in terms of speed, physicality, leadership, quality, and relationship that we can build is through that the team that we have played in the last few weeks, uh, it is more physical in the aspect of the size. But for me, physicality is not only about that, it's many more other aspects, but it's good that we can change, alter as well the shape of, of our team. But when, when you first came into the club, was that something you said to uh, Edu in the club that we maybe need to be bigger and more imposing in order to earn the right to play our football? Well, I think uh, a winning team that wants to be sustain sust sustainable needs to have certain ingredients, and that's one, in my opinion. I mean, I, I would like to meet a lot of your players in a in a fight situation. I mean, they're, I mean, they're pretty they're pretty in imposing. I mean, I, I remember there's a famous scene of a of a Manchester United um, Arsenal game in the tunnel where that everyone's kind of squaring at each other. Patrick Vieira. Do you want teams to to look at your side and be a bit scared? So you would be scared? Yeah, I'm, I, you know. No, not with the coach, though. So. Well, I, I don't know. I don't know. The coach is very relaxed. I think you've got your, your I don't know, I don't know. It is, it's great to have a present. It's very important. Um, and uh, we are building that as well. OK, Harry? Um, it is six years this weekend since Arsene Wenger um, had his final game. It, um, and I know you were talking about how much has changed and how quickly and things are happening very quickly. Did, I was listening to the Manchester United um, um, players or ex-Manchester United players admitting them talking, you know, whether it's Gary Neville being a pundit, them talking makes it quite difficult on the modern, on the current team at times because obviously they had great success. And I know when you came in and we spoke about it a year or two ago, you said you, you'd love the idea of the ex-players would talk to your younger, you know, to the team, mm -hmm. as long as they weren't bringing poison, I think was your word back then. And, and is that something that's definitely changed? There's great support, isn't there, from outside for your team? Yes, and it's very important because obviously they are a huge part of the history of this football club and, um, and the great history of this football club. And anything that can add um, to the team, to the club, whether it is a stability, whether it is inspiration whether this experience is um, more than welcome and uh, they are getting closer and closer they've been in the training ground many many times as well and i think something very important and powerful for a club would, would you say that although you you have won at old trafford you know it was in the covid season i think there weren't any fans there that day is that something still you feel like you could still need to conquer win in front of their fans I mean, yeah. something you're going to have to do on Sunday, isn't it? If you want to win the Premier League and, and big trophies, you have to go to these rounds and um, impose yourself and, and beat them. And that's the journey that we are in, and that's for sure we're going to try to do on Sunday. Thank you. Thank you. Mikhail, just going back to that game that, that Harry just mentioned when you beat United at Old Trafford, uh, Aubameyang scored the winner that day. Uh, United have conceded a lot of goals this season. Does it fill you with confidence? You've got so many goals in your team, and will you encourage your team to to go for the throw and you know try and score as many as possible? Not different to to the way we prepare every different um, every game, and uh, every opponent is different. He's got his strengths and weaknesses, and and we'll try to to play around that. And and just on Eric Ten Hag, you had a lot of time at the start of your Arsenal tenure. You were given the backing from the board, and that's now paid dividends. Do you think? He warrants the same level of time at United. There's been a lot of sort of speculation over his future. I can only talk about what I think about him as a coach. I think he's an excellent coach. Um, I admire his teams, both Ajax and United. I know what he's trying to do. I know how he does it. I know how difficult it is to prepare against him. So, uh, yeah, I have huge respect for him. And, um, and hopefully, yes, he gets the time because... We are colleagues, and um, and we know how difficult it is in this league, and what the margins are, and um, and yeah, hopefully that's the case because I think he's an excellent coach. Okay, finally we go to Sam. 
Okay. Was, was there a moment this season or a game or even a day in training when you thought, okay, now this team is really ready to, to do this, to win this league? I started to have that feeling last season um, when we started to be very, very consistent, very ambitious, and, and I could see that the standards weren't dropping day by day. And then obviously the moment that you start to add uh, other pieces to the puzzle and players start to have more experience and start to keep improving, you've built some momentum and and around the club as well there is a sense that yeah we can do it and we are good enough to do it. I think it's been a journey, I think, not a day. Do you think you've kind of shown as a team that you're ready, whether this season pans out as you want or not, you've kind of shown that you are capable? Uh, we are close to be capable. We need a trophy in our hands, and then we've done it. And it has to be, it has to be a reality. And at the moment, is um, is what we are chasing. Just back to the visualization element of it. How you see yourself in your brain and your gut. How does that actually? Is that when you're sort of sitting there in the car, M25, waiting to? It happened this morning. Yeah, for example, it happened this morning. Yeah. Because I'm excited, I come to work and I see how much these boys wanted it and uh, and hopefully we can deliver it. It's been nine and a half months and you have this objective, this target, you are chasing it every day. You are constantly trying to do things to get um, closer and closer to it and you're just hoping that it's going to happen. Okay, Rob. Yeah. Thanks very much. Thank Rob. you.